I don't believe younger men should take advice from older men who are bitter in sales, Stop hate the women, always complaining. It's always something going on with them negatively. And now they're trying to give you advice by putting their own problems onto you. And then eventually, once you become older, you'll be using the same talking points as them. They got all the answers and the solution for everybody else. But when it comes to their life, all of a sudden it's the, uh, anytime you hear a black man say, oh man, F these black women, they this, they that. And it's kind of like, you ever think to yourself like, damn, you keep saying all this. Well, what about you? It keeps attracting these type of women over and over again. Well, and I kind of find it funny when I hear black men say, well, I ain't never hear a black woman. It's, it's amazing to me when I hear black women actually speaking out against the BS that other black women be saying against black men. And like, well, damn, switch up the type of people that you're around. And it doesn't even have to do nothing with women. But that's just an example to show that you keep listening to men like that. He's going to have you single. Don't a woman want to deal with or be led by or submit to a man that's always negative against them. And you notice that they even have issues with other men because other men, men that got their shit together, don't want to be around no bitter man. I don't. First of all, let me just say this as clear as I can. And I'm going to go slow. Just so the women, black women watching this can understand. Men see themselves in younger men. Women see themselves as younger women it's a difference so she can't see the benefit of a younger older man giving advice to a younger man because her thinking process is through a female lens see it doesn't make sense to her because in her heart of hearts she knows that all women are in competition with each other and the advice that they give each other is usually faulty to address another thing that she said about how black men walk around saying older black men walk around saying F these black women, F these black women, F these black women. Black men don't do that and black men don't say that. What black men say and what black men feel is that I like her, she's fine, she's attractive, whatever it is, but I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that drama. I don't want to deal with that attitude. I don't want to deal with that masculinity. But instead of black women taking accountability for how they act, they turn that around and make it all a man's fault. And another thing, if you're a guy, you're black, I don't care if you're black or not, don't listen to advice from women about relationships. What she is trying to do is to tell you not to listen to men that have experience, but listen to women. Now, if I look at her, she might be in her 20s. You know, she might be early 30s. You know, because, you know, black kind of don't crack. You know, we kind of got it like that. But she's young. And so maybe she has some kind of issues that she went through with her family, her father, or whatever it is. But black men don't walk around thinking that about black women. Black women are actually the first people that black men are attracted to and want to continue to be attracted to. But black women make it so hard for black men to even approach them, to even have a relationship with them. That is the thing. And another thing she said about how men don't like to be around bitter men. You're damn right. Men don't like to be around bitter men. You know what men tell other men? Look, man, this is A, B, and C. It's going to pass. Get over it. Go live a life of abundance. Go find somebody else. Go do your thing. You too young for that. You worth more than that. You spending too much time worrying about this woman. That is what black men do. Black men don't walk around putting labels on black men saying they're bitter. Bitter is a word that comes from women, bitter women. So again, this is coming from a female lens that really doesn't make sense. And, and another thing that I noticed that she said, she said, do you ever notice when black men say, oh, it's amazing. I never really see when black women hold other black women accountable for how they treat black men. And she says, well, who are you hanging around with? Like, it's just another example of how black women don't want to take any accountability from each other, from black men, from society in general. It's, again, another instance of blaming black men for every single thing and black women having no accountability. There is nothing soft 
There's nothing feminine. There's nothing flowery. There's nothing nurturing about most of these black women out here today. They all have this type of attitude all the time. But they want black men to owe them something. They want black men to listen to them, to protect them, to, you know, date them, to marry them and all these things. But all they do is come off with attitude and negativity. And in this video, this woman is trying to prevent younger men from going to older men that have seasoning salt on their life that know what's coming around a corner. So they don't fall in the same pitfalls that maybe they did, their friends did, or something else, some example that they saw. Women don't like that because they want you to stay in the sucker zone. They want you to be wide open so they can manipulate you. A lot of women, black women, want men to be soft and feminine and emotional 